So in this video from CAD Crazy, what I want to do is go over the drains when associated with uh, uh, strainers. So let's say we have a, a strainer in our line right here, uh, and it's requiring a flange connection. Well, usually when we're dealing with a socket well connection or a threaded connection, we come off the back of it, put a nipple in there, it taps it all automatically for us, and we build our uh, valve, uh, bleed valve from there. But when we're dealing with a uh, flange valve uh, connection, we have to do a couple little things different. So you can see that I've already got it loaded up here. So let's go ahead and change this to 2D wireframe so we can see it a little bit better. And go right here and you can see we have a tap connection. So to build this out, you put your tap right there, then go ahead and put your gasket. And from the gasket on, you can build out the rest of your components. You can put your flange and then your blind flange um, or whatever else you need. So when you drop this out without making any changes, what you have is um, a our strainer connection uh, S key in CADWorks. Um, and yeah, th that works, but I'll show you a little trick that'll help you actually look like a flange coming off the back of it. So go back to our CAD works right here and we're going to double click on the tap. Okay. So if you double click on the tap, it's going to come up first. And if not, if you double click on the strainer, the strain will come up first. You hit OK or cancel, and then the tap connection will come up second. So then you go to Isogen and come down to right here where it says in type connections. So we're going to change that from default down to FL, which is flanged, and we're going to hit OK and come back up here and hit OK. Then it's going to come up with the strainer because we hit the tap first, and we're going to hit OK. And if we ran this again, then what you would have is a strainer that has a flange connection off the drain. So it actually comes out like a um, you know flange connection with the valve on there. To me, this looks better. It spaces things out a little bit more, and you know, your checker won't get mad at you because it's supposed to be a flange instead of, you know, just butting up against the uh, strainer. So I hope this helps. Um, please uh, leave a review, subscribe to our page. If you got any questions, just hit me up.